OK. Next one. Again, first thing you want to do is factor it. x minus 3 times x plus 1 over x plus 2. Does anything factor out for a give us a whole? No. So therefore, our vertical asymptote is as simple as setting the denominator equal to 0. Vertical asymptote is x equals negative 2. Horizontal asymptote. Again, we need to compare the numerator and the denominator. Oh, I'm sorry, the degree in the numerator and the denominator. In this case, the degree in the um, denominator is less than the degree in the numerator. So now we have covered every single option. The degrees are either the same or one is larger in the numerator and the denominator. If the degree is larger in the denominator, there is y asymptote is y equals 0. If it's greater in the numerator, then there is no horizontal asymptote. But when we have no horizontal asymptote, that means we now have a slant. And what I showed you guys last class period, to find the slant asymptote, all you simply need to do is do long division with your polynomial. OK, so we, again, doing long division. x goes into x squared, x times. x times x is x squared. x times 2 is 2x, subtract the rows, x squared minus x squared is 0, negative 2x minus 2x is 0, bring down the negative 3. Does x divide into negative 3? No. Nope. So your slant asymptote is just your quotient. But it's actually a, it's a line, so we write it as y equals x. That's your answer. Doesn't matter if there's a remainder or not. Okay? Remainder doesn't affect what your asymptote is, because that actually approaches zero. So therefore it's just going to be x is your slant asymptote. Yes? Yeah, it would actually why you know what I was I did that exact same thing. It would be. Thank you very much. I was thinking about that. Because I, I actually I did that wrong. It's if you borrow, if you owe me two dollars and you borrow two more, it'd be negative four x. Thank you. And x goes into negative four x, what? Minus four times? Thank you. However, after that, you're now gonna have, yeah, because that would be thank you. However, that's your remainder, it doesn't really matter. That's not your slant decimal. Good catch. Thank you. All right, so that is, found, that is found how to find the asymptotes. But then again, we need to find the intercepts, correct? 